Hi, my name is Jasmine and I'm 15. I live with my sisters Sabrina and Sam, my little brother Ben and my mum. We love to travel. Our first stop in Beijing is the spectacular Great Wall of China. It is more than 2,000 years old and stretches from 5,000 kilometers and you can see it from space. Zalba, that means let's go in Chinese. The walk up here was very tiring. Next we will visit Tiananmen Square, which is the heart of Beijing then the Forbidden City, and after that, the site where the ancient Peking Man was discovered. That's Tiananmen Square. This is the Forbidden City. The Chinese emperors lived here until about a hundred years ago. This is the Beijing Hutong. It is a very old part of Beijing. The Chinese eat lots of noodles and dumplings. These are dumplings. These fried lilies. This is the famous paleontological site where Peking men were found. Peking men lived half a million years ago and so knew what they looked like. We're leaving Beijing and starting the Trad Siberian. We are on our way to Mongolia. Mongolia is wedged between China and Russia. Its most famous citizen was Genghis Khan, the 12th century warrior who founded the Mongolian Empire, where 3 million people now live. We're going horse riding in Mongolia. That? You have just did a poo. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> and Lake Baikal, which is the deepest lake in the world. Eating omo fish and seeing the cute nepa seals are highlights in the Siberian city. We're eating shrimp omo fish. This is Karl Marx Street, the main street in Irkutsk. Marx was famous for inspiring the revolutionary leader, Lenin, to turn Russia into a republic. This is a giant statue of Lenin. He started the Russian Revolution in 1917. We're just about to continue our journey on the Trans-Siberian. We are going to Perm to see the famous prison. The train will take 56 hours. This train is going to take a long time. This is what the Trans-Siberian train looks like. We've been on for about 48 
hours. We will be arriving in Perm soon and right now we are going through the Ewell Mountains. We are at the Perm train station, about to see the prison. This is the Perm 36 concentration camp. It is the only prison of its type left in Russia from the Stalin era. The prisoners were locked up because they disagreed with the government. We're not allowed to film inside. Hi, we just got off the Trans-Siberian train. We're at Moscow train station and it's 6 o'clock in the morning. Moscow is the capital city of Russia and where our train journey chugs to an end. It's dawn and as we enter Red Square, we get our first glimpse of the colourful Onion Dome St. Basil's Cathedral. This is Lenin's mausoleum where his body is preserved. His name is inscribed in Russia's Cyrillic alphabet. The Kremlin is close by, but we can't go into the buildings. That's where the Russian president lives. A walk across town takes us to Gorky Park, which is a giant children's amusement park. It's our last tourist site and time to head home. We did it!